Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho Panchito, tú eres mi amorcito, ay Pancho, ay Pancho. Warning, the following videos aren't intended to hurt and or bully anyone. It's solely my job in salvation to report on what's going on with the YouTube community and give my opinion because my opinion matters. Sorry about that. Weenie Hut Jr. discretion is advised. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Francisco back at it again with another banger of a video. If you're new to this channel and you end up subscribing, welcome aboard to the Panchita Familia. First and foremost, I want to thank you guys for joining us for another day of the Life of Cheese, man. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Every subscription matters. And like the video. I know you're on Thanksgiving break or you had some break, you know what I'm saying? So you're feeling relaxed. It's also so funny to me when I'm starting to get a little bit sick. Some of you Panchitas notice it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you guys notice that good? Is it because I start sounding a little bit different? yes i'm different and i wasn't gonna post today but i was like no i need to post the cheese man i've been on my grind mode i gotta get this video out for you guys but let's go ahead and get started with this week's freak of the week and it goes to now who the heck is gassing her up telling her they're trying to see more of her the only way she comes across to me is a madre this is not a banger this is not a banger and i know bangers I know bangers. Zavink. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about, the whole Candy Aguilar situation. Now, if you guys missed Josecito El Bailador's live yesterday, he was giving his opinion about the whole situation. He had this to say, my... What do you think about only... Oh no, I don't know. You know who's, who should you should ask instead? You should ask Nestor. He's the one that let it happen. Maybe he's not the one that let it happen. He's just the one that didn't have a saying for it. I don't know. Maybe he didn't even have a saying in it, in the word. It was just, it's gonna happen, and I don't give a what you have to say. And he just says, okay, okay, okay. That's what had to happen, you know? But you think about it, it's like, why? I'm those people that say, why? I ask, them, why? Like, why? I would never expect that to happen. But then you expect it and it happens. That's why you don't think about girls are loyal. I'm not talking about them no more, so you guys know. But I'm just saying like, girl will say they're loyal and then no, different. You ne it's like it's like basically never let them know your ne next move. That's what it was, you know. But then again, I don't know. I say I don't know. I, I don't keep up. That's what I'm trying to say, you know. I go off what you guys comment, but I don't. I'm not the type that keeps up. I don't think I keep. It's unhealthy to keep up. Yeah, that's what I think. No. No, and yes, it's not going broke. Like I said, you guys will talk. Shit. Why don't you guys ever just agree with that? What I have to say, it's literally just about trying to find the next thing you're you have potential. Like, like, now, I don't usually agree with Josecito, you know what I'm saying? But he had a point here, you know what I'm saying? He basically said that he doesn't think that Nestor had an opinion, you know what I'm saying? Candy Aguilar said, I'm showing the cocodrilos that God gave me, or the ones that they pack a punch her with, and I'm showing it to the world. Now, like I said in my video yesterday, you know what I'm saying? I don't really give a flag in Dublin. She wants to be a freak. Go ahead and be a freak. But there's going to be like a ripple effect. The boys are going to get bullied in high school, and then it's going to inspire Melody and Nikki next, you know what I'm saying? Melody already has bad tendencies and bad behaviors, and now because she sees Candelaria do it, now she'll say, well, if my mommy does it, hmm, question mark. So I hope that Melody doesn't steer in the bad path just because she sees that Candy Aguilar is doing it. But make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the situation. A lot of you guys are telling me to take one for the team and subscribe. I'm not doing that, boo-boo. I'm not subscribing. And did you guys see with Miss Yoshi Yoatsi, it appears that she went back to her ex-boyfriend even though she said that she wasn't? And this happened. My People are saying that me and Alex are still together on the down low. <sighs> No, we are not together, but sometimes I'm like, sometimes I'm like, oh, maybe we should like work it out, you know? But like I said, me and Alex are still working on ourselves and um, we're still working on everything together. Um, and let's just hope that it goes in the right direction. But me and him are literally back to being best friends. Like we don't hate each other. We're always hanging out with each other because of the kids. And um, when we have Friday movie nights, he stays and then we watch movies together so we're just like a big family um are we back together though we're not but if we do i will let you guys know or maybe i won't let you know i don't know yet a few inches later <laughs> <laughs> You guys gotta cheers. You guys are opponents, but you guys are also family. Now here's my opinion, you know what I'm saying? 
I don't give a flagging Dublin if they get back together or not. But don't go out making these videos talking about, yeah, we're not gonna get back together. That's not gonna happen. And then you go running back, sitting on him. You know what I'm saying? There were so many chairs there, you could have picked out another damn chair. And instead, you said, Alex, ven aquí, pero ya. I'm saying, if it didn't work out the first time, he didn't want to marry you. You know what I'm saying? You got the tattoo looking like some boomba foo. And then you go running back to him again. I understand this cold parenting, you know what I'm saying? But don't go telling the world that you're not back with him to then go back with him because you're the one that looks like the foolish one here you know what i'm saying if they are back together congratulations 10 time is the charm 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 but make sure to comment down below what do you guys think of the whole situation with yoshi yoati and did you guys see with ogz it appears that the baby mama called him out i see a lot of girls love him you know what i'm saying the singer ogz but he actually has some bad tendencies behind the screen he's being known as an instagram dad this happened my happy birthday to a true narcissist and instagram dad someone who has no actual involvement with their son sheesh i've been quiet for years but the thing this man has done not only abuse and physically and try to destroy me mentally but he also pays no active role in our child's life and i'm sick of y'all praising him on the internet for being some dad of the year when that's anything but that i won't go into detail but those close know the things i've had to endure his entire team is aware of the things he's done to our family and turns a blind eye because all they care about is the money it's sad and i'm so disappointed and the men and his team and it just completely enables and it's disgusting i told myself i would never go and expose him for who he truly is but enough is enough ask him where he was after thanksgiving which was my grandmother's third anniversary but i'm sure he wasn't there with me or his child keep in mind i left him for a while because i could no longer take the abuse and needed to do what's best for my son recently i've tried working things out with him and he completely manipulated and destroyed everything we were working towards and he doesn't even care about how it affects our son he goes on tours doesn't even make an effort to try and show his son that he cares about him comes back and still spends no time with him he beat the living shysa out of me for years, even when I was pregnant with Sincere. I finally built the strength to walk away and he did everything he could to pull the rug from underneath me and doesn't respect an actual full-time parent means. I still keep a smile on my face and keep going for my child because that's what a mother does. When trying to destroy a mother of your child mentally, when she has to take care of your son and be the full-time parent, he's been on a complete binge since the day of BXR's Hawkins event on Tuesday. I just want to remind all the full-time moms that keep going for their child, no matter how <coughs> their child fathers are to you, that you're not alone. I'm here with you. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed my inactivity on here and it's because i'm going through so much between dealing with my grief but also dealing with this man who literally bullies me and completely gaslights me it's not beeping easy and i commend every mother going through this themselves now if you guys can please follow the page for reading all that please i really do appreciate you my saliva is running out at this point of view make sure to smack a like for always having to read all that you know what i'm saying my popcorn reading is always elite but basically she came out and revealed that he's abusive he doesn't even see the kids he's acting fake just for instagram what do you guys think of the whole situation do you guys think these uh, allegations are true uh, he does kind of rap about all this you know what i'm saying so it's not really that surprising to me but make sure to comment down below and for the world news did you guys see that this guy went on a trip i think this was in peruvia or peru i'm not too quite sure but allegedly a spider laid babies on his toe inside the toe you know what i'm saying like they're inside the toe and the, he had to go to the ER, get his toe cut to get him removed. My but the thing about all that one of them ended up having the baby so he was trying to, the baby was trying to escape eating his flesh to get his way out could you imagine a spider lays eggs in your toe and says i appreciate it all those ongos you guys are giving him a buffet with those ongos clean your damn toe but i didn't even know that was a thing that a spider can lay a bunch of eggs and it could go inside your toe so be careful if you see a spider you know what i'm saying if they're getting the mank mank manks and they're laying it on your big toe gg to your big toe but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video here for you guys i am feeling a little bit sick you know what i'm saying i'm gonna drink some teas get my you know stuff going on follow my social medias and most importantly drop a like it helps boost us up to new cheese muscles and cheese muscles and i really do appreciate you guys